two devices. I bought this one. This one was shipped to me. The boys over at Cable and Connections said, hey, I saw one of your comments on the Klein toner device. We should ship you one. You want to do a video? I like free tools. They like to send me tools to play with. Here's a tool. But I don't bought this one because when I'm out doing um, networking and stuff like that, I need to find sometimes an outlet that could be plugged into something critical that I cannot turn off. And using this will find it on the breaker, which is what it's designed for. Digital circuit breaker finder. Yep, yep. You plug one in into an outlet, it'll give you some readings to make sure it's proper. But it also has a wand that you can go over to the breaker panel and find the breaker that you're on. Very handy. I'm going to open this one and then we're going to go over this one to show you what it can and can't do. Um, I'm going to emphasize this is the digital version. This is the brand new version. I've opened it, so I'm just going to show you. The other version that looks just like this has the pigtails that are already built into this. They don't come off. But this version has the positive and negative um, alligator clip holes on the top, so you can plug in those plus the ethernet jack but we're going to go over that in a minute here just thought i'd show you that keep your attention oh and as you're about to hover over that like button go do that too and subscribe because that's right beside it so let's grab my five dollar or two dollar pack of exacto knives and try not to cut myself open on video here well, let's have a look here They sure uh, package these things pretty well. We've got two of the devices. And it comes with a 9-volt battery, too. Rare. Those batteries are rare these days. Now that I'm done struggling to get that out, I can throw that over there. It's even got a sticker that says, Remove Before Use. Hmm. Okay. We're going to use that soon. Huh. Okay. So, we've got two tools. One's the wand. And this is the piece that goes in the wall. So when you can plug it in, it'll tell you a whole bunch of things on there. On the top, I'll put a picture in the video here. Open to ground, open the neutral, open to hot. Hot and ground reversed. Hot and neutral. Uh, GFI testing in progress and correct wiring. Well, that would be actually uh, pretty good to have. I do like that I could go like this. And snap them together. This will go in my tool bag now. And I should not be able to lose if I remember to put this piece in the bottom of the wand. I don't know how the battery goes in here. But I'm sure... Oh, there's a screw. Good thing I have a screwdriver always on my desk. Let's see here. I didn't read the instructions, so... Oh yeah, that's how we do it. Pull the screw out. There we go. Put the battery in. Sweet. Simple. One screw. Probably lasts forever, too. Simple. Now, I got this, like I said, because sometimes I have to, I'm working on a TV and I want to unplug it and I want to make sure the TV's unplugged or maybe I flick a breaker or something like that and I need to make sure I'm doing the right one. This tool should help me identify that. I'll put a little video clip into this video of me showing it. I'm going to probably try it downstairs in my house to show you guys, but... Uh, Okay, we have our unit. So on the very bottom, it says that we want to be in correct wiring, which is no light, two light, on. Do we win? Hey, look at that, we win. We got two lights on. Okay, next feature, we wanna turn this guy on. It's on. There we go, it says red when it finds itself. So now we'll come over to our breaker panel in here nothing here 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 oh we're getting close it's this one and it says the right plug so that's how we use this simple little tool to find where our outlets are and don't forget we've got to plug our piece back at the end here it's a very basic tool there's nothing complicated about using this other than it finds a breaker and it shows you how if it's tested and set up properly from electricians i would hope because they're electricians but uh yeah this meter will on the front of it tell us that now 
to the meat and potatoes of this video, this guy, oh, as it slides out and stabs me, this guy, as I said before, it's digital. Now, the older versions, my favorite uh, Trend Networks one up there that I love, it works very, very well, I use it for a lot of things, they're all analog. And an analog um, toner and generator is great. But the problem is when you are toning wires that are near electrical, you hear a lot of AC noise and you will not hear, or sometimes you won't hear your nose, your noise tone on there. So when you use a digital version, it get rid, gets rid of all the tones and you can only hear a digital signal on there. Very, very handy. But what I really liked about this unit and I learned because of Blake did a video on this, a lot of guys will say, oh, you have to go to the network switch or the network rack and unplug everything because you don't want to cause any issues. And you don't want to hurt the switch. Just so you know, plugging this into an active switch, say where a computer is sitting on the, on the uh, wall there, you could plug this in. And if it's plugged into a PoE switch or a normal switch, it will not hurt it at all. Just gonna let you guys know that. But this allows us to push the digital version on this, plug it into a switch, and then take this and turn it on and make sure that we're on the digital ver or digital where it says blue right here at the very top, 010, because it's digital, and tone it. You will hear your tone on here very, very clearly. It even has a light bar that lights up and you can see that. I'll put a video link in here to that to do show you how that's working too. I'll do analog and digital. The new version, the toner. Plugged in to a switch in digital mode. That's what comes in the package. Yes, they came with batteries. There's eight of them, and I believe there's four in this, and there's four in this. So there's eight alkaline good batteries. They're going strong. They're in here. It's also really built really well, too. I like this. So if you drop this, it's really thick. I'll go over more features, more specs, but I just wanted to show you the basics of the stuff that I've been playing with. It does have our nice rubber alligator ends. Good for the alligator ends because when you open them up, you can see teeth. So you can pinch into wire without stripping it if you have a spot where you don't want to do that. Um, and they're protected. I like that. So, and they have end caps. So you can put those on there, keep everything clean out of there. Oh, it does come with an ethernet cable. I totally forgot about that. It does come with the ethernet cable. Nothing really much in the package. Oh, I do see some instructions. I didn't read those. Nah, because I just went to YouTube like everybody else. Uh, perform pin-to-pin -pin mapping and replaceable tip. I don't know why you would want to replace the tip, but I guess maybe if you drop it, you could put a new one in there. Or the old ones where you couldn't do that. It also has a flashlight in the tip. Look at this. So if you're toning stuff, you can see stuff. You can see that? See the light there? <laughs> Funny? Maybe not. It also has a digital 60 hertz filter. So it, cannot, it can get rid of the uh, 60 hertz if the lines are close to, or close to the um, Cat6 because that's usually what the pain is. I would use this device in certain inks, in, in certain areas of doing certain networking and stuff like that. But also, if you're doing audio video, you could put these leads in, and I'm gonna show it because I put a speaker on my desk here. If you want, Say you have all the speakers mounted in the ceiling and you're doing a big wiring job and uh, you want to make sure that the speakers are either connected or you need to find them because maybe the wiring came off the wiring at the other end of your rack or wherever they're terminated. You can use this to find speakers that are in the ceiling. Watch this. Turn this into here. Turn this on. We'll go to analog mode we have to be in analog mode so it's in analog mode and you can see that right sorry i got some lights turned on so we can see if i connect this to a speaker you'll be able to hear it doesn't matter which polarity either because you're just doing a tone on there see you can hear that perfect for when you're trying to find speakers in the wall very 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 handy my old one i had uh, something really old old and i used the exact same thing i made a pair of alligator clips but this one has it so you can just put them in the top very very good you could also use it for finding shorts on the front of this in this mode you probably might not be able to see it but if i click these together there's a lot of light in this room sorry 
See the red light at the top? You can use this to find if you got shorts on a, um, so maybe you got some 16 two speaker wire or some alarm stuff and you need to find out if you got a shorted cable or not and you know the other end's not connected to anything, you could put this on there. Maybe a Sparky put a staple through your wire and instead of blowing up the device you're connected to, like 12 volts, 48 volts or whatever power or a speaker and amplifier, you could use this to verify, hey, it's got a short or it doesn't. Very, very handy. It also has on here network um, we could put it a network cable verification. Now, pretty basic, probably just one, two, um, one, two, eight cables. I don't know if you can see it because the lights are going, they're bright, but you can see them up here, oh, over here, they're going through. So you can do your continuity and your um, line checking with your uh, Cat 5s and Cat 6s and Cat 8s. It also has shielding too, didn't see that. I don't think I have a shielding cable close by. I have a shielded cable too. Let's try that. If I plug in a shielded cable, it should show up, go all the way to the bottom and say shielded. Yep. Shielded, okay. I'll try to put that in there for you guys so you can see it. I know the light's bright, but I need the light to be bright. So it does that. What else can this thing do? Uh, digital toning, I'll put a video in here. I don't think I can be able to show you the digital toning without it being plugged in, but let's give it a shot. Let's go to mode. Uh, we'll put it in digital mode. So for it to be in digital mode, we have to have tone mode on and then the little one zero one, it's probably a one and a slash zero um, on there. So we need to make sure that's on. And if I put this into digital mode, there's our tone, it's digital. If I plug this into my switch, it'll do the exact same thing. But that's what you get when you're in digital mode. If you're in analog mode, we have to put the toner in analog mode. You see all the noise we hear that? See my mic? So you can hear our tone. See how it's kind of faint? We can hear it, but it's there. But imagine having a cable that's 150 feet long and that tone is gone. But if we put it back into tone mode, oh wait, there's a filter mode, but I'll show you that too. If we put it back in the digital mode, see how clear that is? That's all you hear is just that sound. You don't hear any other noise. But apparently, there's a filter mode. Oh, we can hear the digital. You hear the, the squawking in there? I mean, the filter's off, but it's still kind of... It's there, but it's not kind of thing, you know what I mean? What if I turn it up? I don't want to go deaf. Yeah, it's still there. I like the digital mode more, myself. Yeah, it's a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more... Um, noticeable so you can see it i can see this being very helpful in using for people who don't want to go and spend a lot of money too like the amount of money this costs and what it would save you in labor finding things because you could do multiple things at one end i.e tone the cable and then you can go back to the other end and you can plug it in and say hey yeah you know what i do have continuity you're gonna need somebody on the other end to change that mode but hey that's a lot easier than walking back and forth and doing a whole bunch of other stuff so pretty handy Recommended? Yeah. I've also got a link below that you can click on and buy this. Might help me buy some more tools from these guys. So that's my video today. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to go over on this tool that I've been playing with, but the digital mode and being able to plug into a um, powered switch, PoE or non-PoE, and being able to use this and not cause any harm would be to me very helpful and you don't really need to spend a lot of money to get that feature. So you guys liked the video, subscribe, whatever. I'm gonna turn this off so you can hear me better. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know below. The link's below too. So you guys, thanks for watching Jesus Lab. Talk to you later.